Since the dawn of time, magicians have walked the face of the earth. Some magicians use their power for good in helping those around them, while other magicians use their power for evil to bring back the dead, to fulfill their own desires. And some magicians just like fire. Look at this guy. He's just a wizard lord phoenix. It's not good or bad. He's a Since the dawn of time, there were good and evil magicians. But there was one wizard who knew that good and evil are the same thing. Two sides of the same coin. Light and dark, yin and yang that one cannot exist without the other. And to pull power from simply one side was foolish. The Grand Magus, the greatest wizard of all time, was the only wizard to have ever completed the greatest task of becoming both a light and dark wizard. They say he is the greatest wizard to ever have walked the face of the earth. And today, we're gonna be using them. Look at this, the Grand Magus. 1.6 million dollars? All right, that's a little expensive. I don't know if you know this or not, but officially, the next Paragon coming out is going to be the Wizard Paragon. Ninja Kiwi has already confirmed this. It's gonna be called, like, the Magus, Magus Perfectius or something like that. And it's going to be super hype, but I just couldn't wait. So we have actually made it our own modded Paragon for this, as we're gonna be talking about the Wizard, the new update for it. I really think with the release of the Wizard Paragon, they should release a new map just called Wizard's Tower. There should be a map for every single tower, or at least something like relating to every tower, right? For example, there's, I mean, there's like Ice Monkey, so there's, there's ice stuff, right? But there should totally be the Wizard Tower. That would be a cool map where it's like the Wizard's Place and like the balloons are invading the Wizard, right? They have Break, which is like a ninja monkey kind of Japanese, which I think is really cool. Like Alchemist Lab, right? They have the Brew Station. This is the Bat Cave, the Super Monkey Hideout, right? They have the, I mean, anything that's firing range, I would think works for the military, right? But I think that would be really cool to have specific themed maps. They literally released a map for the beast handler anyways we're gonna be basically using is only the wizard monkey right that's the that's our whole plan is to use only the wizard monkey we're gonna need 1.6 million dollars for this paragon i think it's actually gonna cost more because we're playing on hard right yeah it's 1.7 million dollars now think about that that's a lot of money i'm really excited the art looks amazing huge shout out to the creators of this mod it's johnny boy loves pie and his friends that make this and they do such an amazing job. They did the last Alchemist Paragon. Like, look at this custom art. That looks so hype. Look at it. It's like split. He's like half like a skull and half. You can see he has like a fire rage. So like on the left side, he's like the necromancer. And then on the right, he's kind of got like that fire lord phoenix thing. But you can also see like he's just a mixture of all of them together. And I've always really liked that theme of kind of merging two sides of something, right? Mixing the good and evil and things, because that's kind of how life works, right? A lot of times we like to see things as in black and white as like good or evil, but that's not really the case a lot of the times. Nobody does something because they think it's the, because they're the, like in the wrong. Maybe they're misguided, but a lot of people think that they're doing the right thing. And I think that's something that a lot of people lose grasp on. We're all trying to just do what we think is best, but why? as I ran, the balloons are getting by. This isn't very good. All right, let's just go ahead and get your dragon spread. I definitely need to get a necromancer soon because I won't... Wait, purple balloons are actually about to show up. I do not have anything to deal with purple balloons, and they're going to show up now. Yeah, let me just get uh, this guy so we can kind of deal with the purple balloons. We're going to lose a couple of magic lives. I need to get some more marketplaces up and running. Do I need to get... Uh, we can hit leads. We can pretty much hit everything. Purple balloons are a slight nuisance. We need to get a necromancer monkey. I love towers that just by themselves can deal with every tower. Like, that can deal with everything. I just love that. I love the fact that they change a necromancer now. So you can actually target where the balloons go. Ninja Kiwi has been too long. I'm very glad that they've they've been slowly making these changes and updates over time. It just makes the game so much better. It also just makes the tower significantly better. I feel like middle path wizard is always just the way to go, like a cross path. Wall of Fire is just one of, if not, the best T2 upgrade in the game. So this will be our wizard paragon guy. So we can upgrade him. Yeah, I like this path so strange. He's just like, 
he's not an old man yet, so he's just like starting to grow out the beard, right? He's starting to. Now he becomes the old wizard when he gets the arcane spike. This is like many years of practice in the magical arts. Does it even matter what cross path you get with Archmage? Because you have everything. You can see camos, and I think you also get wall of fire. I'll just get wall of fire because I feel like that's just the one I always get anyway. Back to the wall of fire being the greatest T2 upgrade of all time. What is the best T2 upgrade of all time? Now I'm curious. None of those. None of those. None of those. None of these. None of those. Large caliber is not bad because it's seven damage. Air burst darts are crazy. Double shot's not bad. Pursuit's not bad. Wall of fire's just so good. Wall of fire is... What is this? What in the world is that? That's the most hype thing I've ever seen. Is this real? And it says in-game cost zero. Is this like a new project that they're working on? Holy cow. Guys, if you want to see this, if you want to see this, please hit the like button, okay? Let's... I don't know if this is real or not. Oh my gosh, is this a secret project they're working on? I don't know if they know that this is in here. Maybe they accidentally left that on. That's so cool. It costs zero dollars. Should we try to get it? I don't know if we're supposed to see that. Okay, there. What? What in the primordial king? Holy cow. So they're, oh my gosh, that is so cool. What are these things? Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't even know if I'm supposed to show those guys. That is hype. I was looking at T2 upgrades, but now I got sidetracked. That is so cool. I kind of want to see if those are real now. I don't know if, if the modders want me to show that. I don't know if that's secret work or not. But if you guys want to see that, please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Maybe the modders will finish those. Again, I don't even know if those are real or not. Let's just go ahead and get Prince of Darkness. Prince of Darkness is so good. It's like so affordable and cheap and just it just slaps, you know, I'm like we're making a lot of money But we still need like 1.7 million dollars, right? right? Let's go ahead and get our archmage Luckily, we could just buy a bunch of archmage because I'd like to get a relatively high degree paragon probably won't be anything Insane, but let's just skip to around 60 and then just make big money. There we go Let's get summon phoenix we can get wizard lord and we're gonna want to get tons of pops anyways Oh wait, how good are necromancers with the the buff this guy gets? I don't know we want to just get tons of arcane spikes because arcane spikes are really expensive. They're ten thousand dollars, so they go really well into getting us a higher degree. Bam, the wizards down. More wizards equal better because we want to be able to get as many pops as possible. We must have the ultimate wizard army. Can we defeat a BAD with this many wizards? Is this going to be reasonable? Oh my gosh, we're destroying it. We're destroying it. I okay, destroying it might be a little bit might be a little bit strong in the terminology but we are getting a lot of pops though so maybe we just kind of keep putting down some wizards and hoping that we can oh wait we could also just get summon phoenixes i just realized we can just get tons of summon phoenixes they're not as expensive but man they're gonna get tons of pops wizard paragon's actually so easy to get levels for because every single uh oh i'm gonna lose Okay, well, luckily we have the Archmage, which is crazy. So it'll be interesting to see if the Grand Magus is his power is powerful enough to stop all of this. Oh, 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 okay. As you can see, we're actually starting to kind of lose here. So I'm gonna turn off auto start, and we almost lost there. We almost lost. They, the balloons got all the way up to here. So let's upgrade and get the Paragon now. The Grand Magus, do it. Whoa, that Phoenix looks so cool. Level 38. What kind of garbage is that? What do you mean, level 38? I put so much money into it. Whoa! It's like a rainbow phoenix! Wait, that was actually it? Wait, what? Holy cow. Guys, I've come to the conclusion that the Paragon's very strong. This guy isn't even getting pops. It's literally just the bird. Does he have an ability? He does not have any abilities, it looks like. All right, let's just jump up to round 140 because I, I haven't even seen... All right, there we go. Fortified... There we go. So the fortified BAD is a little bit of problems. This character is kind of nuts, though. Let's see. Oh. Woo! Yeah, that's not bad. This character is not bad at all. Can he beat round 200, though? 5 million pops? This might be the end of him. I love the Rainbow Phoenix. The Rainbow Phoenix is amazing. This might be it, friends. Holy cow! He's hanging in there. There's no way he can beat round 200. He might not even make it through this. Oh, no. Holy cow, we lost lives. Balloons actually got by. We lost our magic lives. Oh my goodness. And 
we beat round 190 10 million pops this character is insane look how many gravestones he has is that 10 is that a hundred thousand he can spawn a lot of balloons with a hundred thousand love to know your thoughts please comment down below hit that like button if you want to see more epic paragons in the future and we'll see you guys tomorrow